Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. Feeling slightly better from yesterday. Um, yeah, yesterday I was just feeling a little down. I was like, I, I don't know. Like, I still wanted to do an episode, but I was just all like, I'm not going to have the energy or the time for it. So I just tried to find anything I can possibly do for the episode. See, that's how dedicated I am to stuff. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling. I'm like, I still, I still want to get a video out the way. I still want to, uh, I just want to get everything out the way. Do my videos, do my, uh, my podcast episode. Currently, right now, I am checking if all of my games on my PlayStation are updated because for some odd reason, you have to like, I guess with games that you haven't really played in a while, you have to like go and check to see if it's um updated so yeah if you hadn't played it in a while if you, if there's times you're all like every time i go and play this game and i was like every play it like play every once in a while it always updates and stuff yeah that's um that's what it does so check check your games guys like i just had to check two games right now that that one was gonna that fortnite was gonna be three i haven't played fortnite in a while I'm thinking about I'm I'm thinking of either getting Death Stranding, which is Norman Reedus's new game. It's by this guy he used to do. Uh, I think yeah, he used to do the Metal Gear Solid games, and uh, yeah, that game it actually looks fun. I've been wanting to play it. I've been wanting to play it. I was just like I I want me a new adventurous game to play. Like I was just like I I'd seen that game and I'm like I'm I'm a big fan of Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. Nor I was like Norman Reedus. Like I said that way too fast and put together. So Norman Reedus. If you guys don't know who he is, watch his TV show The Walking Dead and Writing with Norman Reedus on AMC. That is not a paid promo. I just I just did that out of kindness of my heart. That's uh he's a he's a cool dude. I like him. I like him. It's like you watch him on Walking Dead. He just like, and then like, I guess like who he is like outside of Walking Dead. Cause I, I heard that man, he used to be a model and then on Walking Dead, like that man, he was sitting there, um, like cutting, uh, zombies. Cause on Walking Dead, it's like, it's a zombie show. So, uh, yeah, he was cutting, um, he was cutting off with like the zombies ears and was like making it into a necklace and things. Um, yeah, he had to kill his brother that turned into a zombie because his, his brother got killed by the villain on the show. Then when he went to go find his brother, his brother his brother was a zombie and he had to like I think he beat his head in. I think that's what he had to do. It's messed up on that show sometimes. Like they they be having to do things on that show. And I'm like, "Dang, that's just that's so wrong. That is so so wrong." Like I remember there was the one episode where um the villain like his name is Negan. He ain't a villain anymore. But anyways, uh, so he, so the main character of the show killed off, like, a good portion of his men. Later on, like, fast forwarding, I think, yeah, season, yeah, season seven, episode one, because that was, like, the craziest episode probably throughout the whole season. But anyways, so he had it where the main character of the show and his son was, like, you know, like, had them, like, kind of, like, in the center of everybody. So then he goes and, uh takes the main character's axe because the main character main character had this signature axe and uh threw his um then threw his son down on the ground and was all like chop your son's arm off and dude was about to do it too because he was just like if you don't do it i'm gonna kill all your the, all the people that's here right now that's a part of your group so yeah main character he started crying broke the man down i was like dang bro like this is just intense like i was like this is some crazy stuff it's funny that he was all like the um at the time when Negan was a villain of the show. It was funny 
Cause uh, right now he's like has like a change of heart, and uh, he came across one guy I guess that like knew about how he used to be, and uh, he was just like, oh yeah, I heard you killed the main character's kid and stuff, and then he was talking about like I don't kill kids, but there was a point in time in the episode where he almost did kill him, and then there was there was like a couple of times where he almost killed the main character's kid, and it was like bro like. You were, I think you were trying to purposely kill him and stuff. Like, there's some points in times I was like, bro, like, really? Like, you gotta do all of this? Like, for what, though? Like, for what? Like, that's why I'm like, a zombie apocalypse? Like, it is, I don't even know if I've ever, let me see if I've talked about a zombie apocalypse. Because I feel like a zombie apocalypse in this day and age, people would just be way too crazy. I feel like I might have talked about a zombie apocalypse before. If I have, that won't do it for this episode. Let me start all the way from the beginning, because I'm, I felt like I did at some point in time talk about a zombie apocalypse. I'm going all the way back to, like, my first few, like, my first episode. Like, I'm, I'm on season three. Yep, dang, I did talk about it. Dang it. Now what can I talk about? I talked about a lot of different things. It was, like, stuff I'm like, man, when did I even talk about this stuff? Like, Bernie Sanders, Area 51, bro. That meme is so dead now, Area 51. Oh my goodness, I honestly forgot all about that meme. Wow, like when they went to Area 51 and then they were all posted up out in front, like, dang, I wonder if, should I just talk about that dead memes? Because I was like, that is, wow. That is crazy, man. I forgot all about that meme. I need to have a water break um, because of some stuff like that. Hold on, guys. Man, that's crazy. Honestly, I was like, I had like, dang, I forgot all about that meme. And that was like one of the most talked about memes this year. Like, what's the meme? The meme now is this new meme that's uh, everybody's like, oh, I'm going to tell my kids like this was this person and stuff. And uh, it's like, um, it'll be like Michelle and Barack Obama, but they'll be like, oh, I'm going to tell my kids this was me and my wife or some stuff like that i don't know they just it's some old random stuff but the one that i seen today though i was like dang that's messed up that's messed up to all dallas cowboy fans but anyways the um so somebody was uh so they made that they made a meme out of it and they had a screenshot of the two characters um from brokeback mountain it was all like i'm gonna tell my kids these was the uh dallas cowboys i'm like that is wrong that is so wrong, man. Like, memes, they... There's, like, some, like, highly offensive memes out there. There is one meme, though. I know so many people probably think that I'm crazy for finding a meme like that funny because it, you sit down and think about it. It's, like, it's not funny, but it, like, it kind of is funny and stuff. So, it's, like... It's, so, it's about, like, when, like, like, those crazy kids, when they shoot up a school and stuff. Like, overall, like, that is not funny. That is not funny at all. Like, I don't condone that at whatsoever. But there was a meme that I did see on this uh, app called TikTok. And the guy was... Uh, so, the teacher was up at the board. It was, like, a guy pretending to be a teacher. He wasn't an actual teacher. But guy was, like, pretending to be up at the board. And he was just, like, what comes before 47? And the kid was, like, AK. And you just see this kid just turn around real fast and was, like, staring at him and stuff. I don't know why, but that got to me. That was pretty funny. I actually, like, I I liked it. But it was just, all like, I overall, it's, like, it's messed up. It's really, long. like, no, dead serious, though. It's messed up that that type of stuff, it happens. But I'm like, there's so many memes, though. Like, people, I ain't seen people make memes out of 9-11. Like, I'm like, they, because, no, the one meme that I was like, I did not find that funny. I, I honestly, I didn't like that. Because I was like, you know, it, it was like, I, to kind of like comparing the two, like talking about the two memes, because I know people are going to be like, oh, well, what's the difference? But anyways, the, talking about the meme that I didn't like. So, they, uh, so it was that scene in the first Toy Story when Buzz was holding Woody and then um they flew over the truck and it was like all the way at the end of the movie was when they flew over the truck and then Woody was all like um there was the truck and then Buzz was like we're not aiming for the truck so somebody took that scene and then they just like yeah cut out the rest of the movie and then just use that one scene it was just when it got to Buzz saying oh we're not aiming for the truck then it cuts to that plane crashing into one of the twin towers I'm like that's not funny 
And I'm like, people actually died behind that. And I know people are going to probably be like, well, what's the difference between, like, the mean people who died in school shootings? Yes. But this guy was in the comfort of his own home making this meme. Like, yeah, now, I mean, whoever made that meme too, they did. But you used the video of people actually getting killed. Like, that's the difference between them two memes. Like, that guy, like, yeah, he was just pretending to be, like, whoever and stuff. This man actually used a video, or whoever created it, they actually used a video of people dying and stuff. So that's why I'm like, I'm not a fan of, like, I'm not a fan of any 9-11 memes. I'm like, all oh, that stuff that happened that day, I'm like, that's, nah, I, I don't find it funny. I don't find it funny. I'm like, in some of them school, in some of those memes, like, I don't know why I found that one meme so funny and stuff. But, like, for the most part, I don't really find those memes funny, too. Like, the school shooting memes. Like, I'm just like, okay, like, it's, one was enough, but I'm like, it's, you know, you you see you see people do that type of stuff all the time. Like, it's... I mean, even with 9-11 memes, like, I, honestly, I cannot be mad at the um, both parties because I'm like, it's still going to be somebody out there, like, making those memes. I feel like there'll be some petty person that'll hear me say this and they'll send me one of those, like, 9-11 memes. I'm just like, it's not funny. Like, I don't know what you really sent me this for. Like, I, I think I even, because so I said that, I remember I was like, when I had started doing reaction videos and I seen that video... And I'm like, it's not funny. Like, it's like, it's not cool. People will be like making fun of this and things. I'm like, it's not funny and stuff. I'm like, people actually died behind this. Like, you're doing memes of like people actually dying and stuff. I'm like, nah, man, it's not funny to me. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I had people like say what they want to say about it, but I'm just like, I don't find it funny. I know people are like, oh, it's probably it's just a joke, bro. Like, chill, bro. I'm like, I I don't see it as a joke. Like, people, you sharing the video of people dying and stuff. Like, I, like, I, you share any other video and stuff, but videos of people dying, I just not with it and stuff. So, anyways, moving on, um, I had to download. So, I got, like, right now, I'm up, the, I'm updating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight games. I'm in, um, I'm updating eight games right now. I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this uh, tonight, cause um, I, I, I'm thinking about it tomorrow. Since tomorrow is Black Friday, I don't think I talked about Black Friday. I don't think I've ever made an episode about that. Let me see. But no, tomorrow I'm thinking about getting that Death Stranding game. I'm thinking about getting that. What else? Oh yeah, now I wanted to get this uh, Seahawks hoodie. But I don't think I did any episodes about Black Friday. Especially in September, like I'm looking at um like episodes I recorded in September and like now I'm starting uh, October. Yeah, I'm like I mm -mm. there ain't no Black Friday. I'm like why would I do a Black Friday episode like like in this point in time in October and stuff. Um yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, that's what I should talk about. I mean, I want to talk about Black Friday, but I want to talk about this movie that I hit watch. Yeah, I ain't doing anything. Yeah, Black Friday, it's it's a little hectic. That's why I'm like, I kind of, well, maybe it might have been a random talk. I don't know, because I, I did upload quite a few random talks. I feel like I did talk about Black Friday at some point in time, but if I didn't, then yeah, Black Friday is crazy. You got people bum-rushing people and stuff. I think I did talk about it, because I feel like I did mention the fact that um, there is that uh, video of like people storming the stores and stuff out here. And then, uh, then you go. This, there's, then it cuts to the Black Friday in Canada. They're walking in a single file line, shaking people's hands and stuff, waving at people, clapping all happy, grabbing TVs, walking nicely to the front of the store. And I'm like, why can this not be here? Like, that's yeah. I think I talked about that. But anyways, what I haven't talked about, all right, and what I want to sit down and talk about is this movie called Ma. So there's this movie called Ma. And that is without doubt the I the girl was what's that woman's name? Cause the woman in there, she I was like, wow. What's her name? Like something Spencer. Octavia Spencer. Yeah, she killed that movie. She no, like she straight up, she straight up killed that movie. What was uh how they feel about that movie though? Rotten Tomato, they gave it a um, 54%. I don't care. That movie, to me, that movie was crazy. Like, seriously. I mean, it's like, it's what you would expect, like, a scary horror movie to be and stuff. Like, a crazy woman, some crazy scenes and things. But no, like, that's the type of movie where you sit down and think, like, dang. 
like that could have happened to me but luckily i'm smart and i see the signs before <laughs> anything happens because <laughs> no so first crazy thing all right spoiler alerts will happen in this episode so if you don't want to hear me talk about this movie you want to see it for yourself and things and yeah probably probably yeah go rent out this movie go watch it then come back and hear what i have to say and stuff but anyways so ma there's the first crazy scene in that movie so she goes and was like just like talking with the kids so all right to explain like what happened so the kids wanted some um like beer alcohol and all that stuff so then like she gets it for them the first time then the second time they went back to her place and was all chilling in her basement and stuff so that sign i kind of just didn't really see like why would you go to this random woman's basement like you don't know who she is she could wait till everybody's not looking spike the drinks right there and start killing folks but so anyways uh, so they're like all ch- um, chilling in her basement. They're all talking. And there was one kid was like just kind of like just like standing there and things. She goes and like he was like, I think he said like, do you want to see something crazy? And then she was like, no, do you want to see something crazy? Pulls this gun out from behind wherever she grabbed it from and started aiming it at the kid. In my mind, I would have, like, like, no, like, not even in my mind, like, real life, I would have been slowly, like, getting up so I can just, like, just book it and just run. Because I think, I think, like, because, yeah, those basement, like, the doors, like, the outside basement doors, I think they were open, but if they wasn't, I just busted my head clean through like she had to chase me because i'm like i'm running as fast as i possibly can she might have shot me she might have shot me i had to take those chances because i'm like yo this woman's crazy so but yeah like no the thing is is that she pulled the gun out on the kid and it was like strip so he strips down she waits till he gets naked then starts laughing was just like i'm only joking with you then all the other kids started laughing i've been sitting there looking at everybody like y'all laughing for what reason she talking about, oh, yeah, the gun doesn't even work and stuff. I'm like, but the fact that I don't care if the gun didn't work or it did work. I don't care what kind of gun that was. You pulled the. It would have been one thing if it was a water gun. If it said Super Soaker or Nerf on the side, I'm fine with that. I am. I'm completely fine with that. But if this looks like the type of gun that you will pull out on a person that you don't want, like, you don't want them messing with you and things, like, you aiming to kill with this gun, like, it's a real gun, Then, yeah, I'm like, I I don't care if the gun was broken. Like, the fact that I didn't know the gun was broken, you told us afterwards. Like, this code went down two different ways. So that's why I'm like, I'm no, uh uh. I'd be like, that's the, that, that right there would have been the last time I went over to her house. But no, so she ended up like, um, like just pretty much like skimming over the movie and stuff. She ended up like really going crazy. And it turns out that the parents of those kids, like, just straight up, like, they, they did her dirty back when they were younger and stuff. I ain't gonna say exactly what happened, but they did her dirty and things. And um, she had a reason to, like, act crazy, but not towards the kids. Like, you gotta sit down and think, like, the kids ain't did nothing to nobody. Like, these kids was just chilling and you just going crazy on them and stuff. But, yeah, I was like, that movie is crazy, man. Like, I was like, Octavia Spencer, she really, like... I, I know I've seen her in more movies. I know I've seen her in more movies. Because I the one movie that I really watch of hers is this movie called The Help. But I know I've seen her in, like, numerous movies. I know I have. She... What movies have I seen her in? Okay. Blue Streak. She was in Blue Streak? I remember that movie. Dang, I gotta watch that movie again. I remember that movie, Big Mama's House. She was in that. Oh, I gotta watch that again too. Spider Man, Checking Girl. Oh, I got yeah, I gotta watch. She was in. She was in the first Spider Man, bro. I'm like, there's movies where I'm like, I didn't even know she was in there. Coach Carter. I want to. Yeah, I want to watch that movie. I want to watch that movie again. I seen like a clip of it, and I was just all like, yeah, I, I gotta watch that movie again. Coach Carter was actually a good movie. I remember I watched that movie when I was a kid. Uh, what other movies? Just scrolling down. Seven Pounds. Bro, that movie, I think I've talked about that movie. It's a Will Smith movie. That is honestly, Will Smith could have just left that movie alone. I'm like, not not to crap on Will Smith movies, but that movie, just the way that it ended, it just left me feeling like I 
don't feel happy. Like, not even like the like the movie is sad, depressing. Like, oh man, like that's messed up. More so, like, wow, really? Like that's that's how it ends. I'm like, okay, well, my mood was killed. So, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm like, that's I I wasn't too much of a fan of that movie. Kept keep scrolling. I remember when she was in this movie, Drag Me to Hell. Yeah, that movie. It was. Mm, Wait, did I, do I remember she was in that movie? I honestly, no, I don't even remember she was in that movie. I, I don't. No, never mind. But it's like, I'm like, dang, I know I've seen her in multiple, then the help, like, that's like the most recent movie that I've seen her in, Fruitvale Station. I've been meaning to watch that movie. I mean, yeah, I've been meaning to watch that movie. Get On Up. She, dang, she was in that movie. Bro, there's these movies, I swear, man. I swear, it's like, I seen them but i just don't remember her like now i'm gonna see these movies and then just be like oh, are they redoing this movie bro they are redoing the witches oh this movie and then they're gonna have chris they're gonna have chris rock in here bro yo that movie used to hit when i was a kid they dang, they're coming out with that next year. Wow. Well, all right. I don't know if it's going to be anything like the original, but no, nah, The Witches, that movie used to slap it when I was a kid. Like, nah, seriously. I got to sit down and talk about that movie. That movie, so it's this old 90s movie, right? And it was about, of course, the, like some witches and stuff. So I think they're at this resort. And so it's this little, it's this kid. And I think he ends up making a friend there, or if it's already a friend from, like, you know, like, previously before when they went to this resort. But anyways, I think he met the kid there. So anyways, him and the kid hanging out. They ended up stumbling across this, like, conference room. But in the conference room, the witches, they go in there, and they're all having a meeting and stuff about, like, being witches and stuff. So anyways... They, uh, so the kids, I think, eventually they ended up getting caught for spying on the witches. They got turned into some rats, then, well, mouses and stuff, but I'm gonna call them rats, because it just sounds like much more of a correct way of saying anything. So, anyways, they got turned into some rats, and then the, uh, one, the one boy, because I don't know what the, the kid, the main kid's friend, I don't know what he ended up doing. I think he ended up going with the, uh, kids, um, the other kid, and then they, um, approached their grandmother in rat form. So the grandmother is tripping and stuff and like how this all happen and things. Then eventually, uh, long story short, they ended up taking out the witches. Kid thought he was going to um, live his life as a rat. But there was one good witch. There was one good um, witch that came to his house at night and then turned them into a boy again. And it was a dope scene. Like, no, the kid, he had like, it was like, man, that is, as a kid, as weird as it sounds, I was like, dang, I wish I was a mouse just so I can, like, be in that little, like, mouse playpen that he was in. Because I was like, it looks that that it looks so fun as a kid. Then he got all big being a kid and stuff. And then, yeah, it was just like, it was it was crazy. It was a good movie, though. It was crazy. Then there was one scene where they, um they like, it was a baby in a stroller started rolling down this hill. And the witch was all like, oh, I'd like, because they hated kids. And so, um yeah, she just let the stroller just go down the hill. And I was like, wow, that's like, wow. That's messed up, man. Somebody eventually did catch the baby and stuff. Like, there's like a P... It's crazy how this is like a PG movie. Like, everything I just named off, I was like, wow. Like, sitting down thinking about it, I'm like, that's messed up, man. That is messed up. But Octavia Spencer, she's gonna be in that. That's That should be good. That should be good. Anne Hath- um, Hathaway. So, Anne Hathaway, she's gonna be the Grand High Witch. Octavia Spencer, huh... I wonder what role she's gonna be in. She, I don't know. She could be a witch. She could be like one of those like side characters that just adds comedy to the movies and stuff. Stanley Tucci, I don't know. Chris Rock, um, Felipe Spa. Like, there's like a bunch of people I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know any of these guys. I only know yeah, Chris Rock, Octavia Spencer, and Anne Hathaway. All these other people I don't know. I know this is like. Because I did say Stanley Tucci. I know people are like, you don't know who he is? Let me click on him and see, because he might have been in some movies or some. Oh, he's um, been nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Performance in the Lovely Bones. I remember this movie. Yeah, that movie was sad. 
was yeah was, is that the movie yeah the girl she was yeah she's in the in between so she ended up getting kidnapped by this guy and she died but she was like stuck between like life and death and so she was like kind of like seeing things before she fully died and then she actually had died that movie i was like man and i was like why did i sit down and watch this i'm like this is so sad like this girl i honestly was thinking this girl was gonna make it too and i'm like really like this how the movie well i mean the movie did end with the guy that killed her he ended up slipping off some rock and fell down i think he like broke his neck and died so i'm like you know like this shouldn't be happy of a person's death but i was like you know what like that's you brought it on yourself you out here living life like that you brought it all on yourself that's how i'm gonna that's how I'm, what i'm gonna say about it but yeah i'm like man that's messed up that's messed up man i don't like movies like that i don't like movies where it's like it's overall like it's just going it's a good sad movie like i nah man like y'all need to you guys could have done that movie like differently like she wasn't she was never dead like she was in a coma or something like that like, if it had been like that and things, then I'd be like, oh, okay, then she wakes up out of it and stuff. But, yeah, you just killing off people in movies and stuff. I'm like, this movie, is like, now I know, I remember, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't have to read the book. If I read the book, I'd really been upset because I'm like, yo, i seen this movie. I already know what this is about. I kind of just, like, can we read Green Eggs and Ham or something like that? I'm like, I don't want to, like, read this book. At least Green Eggs and Ham had a happy ending. The man liked his green eggs or whoever. Was he a man? What was those? Like, what would you, uh, uh, who? I'm going to say, okay, so the, the um who, he overall enjoyed his green eggs and ham. So, but yeah, that movie, I'm like, that girl wasn't having no green eggs and ham. She was getting, she died, got killed, and she was stuck in the in-between looking at her family. I think there was a scene where she was calling for her dad and her dad wasn't hearing her. I'm like, movies like that, see, that was like that movie Ghost. That was like that movie Ghost. It kind of had me, like, feeling a little, like, sad for the guy because I'm like, dang, bro, like, this man dead and then nobody don't know it and he can't come back and he trying to talk to people. The only one, only person that can um hear him and she can't even see him is Whoopi Goldberg. And I'm like, man, I'm like, and he trying to sit here and communicate with this girlfriend the only way he can is by lifting a coin and pushing it up a door. And I'm like, man, that's... I know people are going to probably be all like, bro, how you know about all these movies and stuff? And you were born, like, when was you born? Like, the early... I was born in 96, but y'all got to understand, like, I grew up watching a lot of movies. A lot of movies. All, like, those movies that, like, I was like, because, what, Ghost? I've seen Ghost, I don't know how many times. Um, The Witches, I have that movie on DVD. Uh, like, yeah, I'd spend my days just watching movies. Like, y'all need to understand that. Movies, TV shows... Like, there's times where I, like, talk about movies and TV shows I think people would know about. They're going to like, i never heard of that movie. Like, that's, that's seriously, it's the craziest thing ever. It is the craziest thing ever when people, when they say that. And it's even, then it's even crazier for them because I'll name off all these different movies and then there'll be that one movie where they like, everybody has seen it except me. And then people will come up to me and be all like, oh, have you seen this movie? I'm like, no, I ain't never heard of that movie. They're like, you ain't never heard of this movie? Like, how long have you been alive? I'm like, I've, I've been alive for 23 years. Like, I, I'm i I'm sorry. I just I, I just don't, I never heard of that movie or I, I've never seen it and stuff. Like, I'm just, if they put it on Netflix or Hulu or if it's on TV one day and I just so happen to click on it, then yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. But until then, like, yep, I ain't never seen it. Like, they're expecting me to like say, wait a second, like a loading screen appears above my head and I ain't watched the whole movie in five minutes. Like, I ain't gonna be able to watch the movie right there if you sitting there screaming and questioning me about it and stuff. Like, I ain't seen the movie. I'm sorry. So, dang, I'm looking at one of these games. And it's a f- nine, nine hours left to install. And it's like 40-something gigabytes. Like, what is this update all about? Now I gotta look up this update. One, seven, update. Because that's crazy. This update came out six days ago. Bro, people are actually... It's this video game called Warframe. And there is people that's actually selling... Bro, it's a fix? Oh, maybe it's like... Because I I don't think yet. Because like I said, I hadn't played this game in a while. So it's like probably a bunch of updates built up. But somebody is really selling... 
an account for Warframe for a hundred dollars on eBay. Wow. I guess. I guess. I don't know, but I guess like it. People might be doing that type of stuff. I don't know, but. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. I'm probably just going to title this um, episode another random talk. But uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up. Excuse me. And if you are purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS and it will knock $20 off your first purchase. So, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.